Mm. Ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! Hit the breeze, boys. Parson, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he's saying. A more flannel-mouthed bunko artist I've never met. Hey, Marshal, see those vultures? We should check it out. Marston, Eli, go see what it is. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. This don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Let's go! Spilling a lot of blood. I can see more vultures up ahead. God damn it. Come on, let's take a look. Come on. Come on. Man, more dead bodies. And the fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on. Court of law, you mean? This is too quiet. I got a bad feeling about this. Split up and search the area. John, you check the buildings in the barn. Nobody's in the shed. boarded up. Come on, John. Shoot that door open. Holy 
sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> This is gone, Buck. Anybody else want to get in my way? You got the gun, man. for the shed in the back as soon as it looks clear. As soon as you can, make a run for the shed. Keep your head down. Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. of that bunch gets fifty dollars it ain't about the money marshal these are people's lives people's homes come on they're gonna get away hurry boys let's get out yo do you think they might be headed for fort mercer marshal what Williamson's men? Maybe. All this sure looks like their handiwork. Make sense if they cut this road. Come on, Marshal. This might be our chance. What's your beef with Williamson anyway, Marshal? Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell are you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. It was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bear in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I've seen him. Is that somebody on the cliff? You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> You know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Bastards pay for what they did to those farmers. 
many to fight in the open. Look out, here comes some more of them bastards. I guess we ain't gonna be friends boy. now. Hey, look what I got here. <laughs> There's something that you're still breathing. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> Come on, Bessie. Give. <laughs> oh. Norman Deke. <laughs> Fuck. Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get to Bill. <coughs> ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail.